Uh, so today we're looking at the distributive law. Uh, now this is a pretty interesting thing. By the time you hit sort of grade 10, you'll forget that it's called the distributive law. You'll just know how to use it. But for now, let's learn the distributive law and understand how it works. Now the distributive law says that if you've got two things in a bracket, let's call them A plus B, and you've got something outside of that bracket, M, if you'd like to simplify this, you can do it by multiplying M by A to make M A and multiplying M by B to make M B. Uh, so that's what the distributive law says and if you get used to drawing in these um, these little curves you'll find your life a little bit easier when it comes time to doing the maths. Uh, let me show you an example up here. If we had 3 times say x plus 5. Now we can't add the x plus 5 in the brackets because they're not like terms. So we need to come up with a different way to simplify this. And the way that we can do it is with our distributive law. So we can say 3 times x is 3x. And we can say that 3 times positive 5 is positive 15. So that's how the distributive law works. We might just run through a quick example so you can see uh, it in action. So here we have another one that we can do the distributive law. We've got 2 times a, which will make 2a. And we've got 2 times negative 4. Be careful here, it's 2 times negative 4, which will make negative 8. Uh, so just another example of the distributive law. Just making this one a little more complicated, we've got 3x out the front this time, so 3x times 5 plus x. Again, same rules, the first one times whatever the first one in the brackets is. So 3x times 5 will be 15x, and 3x times positive x will be 3x times x, which is x squared. Uh, so just getting a little more complicated, make sure you're comfortable multiplying terms together and you shouldn't have too much trouble with them. And just try to make it as complicated as possible. We've got negative 2y bracket 5 minus x. Same rules. Multiply your first two terms together. You'll get negative 2y times 5, which will be negative 10y. And then multiply your last terms together. Minus 2y times minus x. Now a minus times a minus is going to be a positive. It's negative 2 times, uh, there's a negative 1 there, so it's just going to be 2. And then y, x. Now make sure you write them in alphabetical order, x, y. So uh, there's our distributive law. As long as you get used to putting these little curves in here so you know what you're doing, this times this, oh, sorry, this times this, 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 and then this times this, and this times this. You really shouldn't have too much trouble. Also, make sure that you're watching your signs, because that's the thing that's going to um, stuff you up when you're doing these in exams.